Hey guys, my name's Corey, and I'm bringing you just a really quick tutorial on the noise reduction process in Adobe Audition. Now, previously, I was always confused why noise reduction didn't seem to work as well for me as it did for the people in the tutorials that I was watching. It always seemed to remove some of the speaker's voice. Um, so let me just let you hear what this sounds like without any effects applied. There's the noise. Welcome to another... So there's the noise, there's a click. Welcome to another episode. And then the speaker's voice, which sounds quite good. Um, so what I was doing was I was kind of just carelessly grabbing the fuzziness or the noise, whatever you wanna call it. I was capturing the noise print. You can click up here or you can come down and right click and capture noise print. And then I was, you know, tweaking my noise reduction settings, tweaking my advanced settings until I got what sounded decent. But what I was noticing, the effect was working in that it was subtracting the noise, but it was also affecting the voice negatively. So let me show you what this is actually doing. If you click the output noise only button, you'll be able to hear everything that the system's removing. Let's turn it on. So you can hear right there, we're removing certain aspects and sounds from the speaker's voice when we really don't want to be doing that. Now switch it back to uh, turn the output noise only off and you can hear we did make this background noise quieter. Welcome to another episode of But now the speaker sounds a little wobbly or uh, tinny. It doesn't sound as good as it did before. So I discovered what I was doing wrong, and this is something that a lot of the other tutorials didn't seem to uh, go into. This little click, this is an outlier in my audio. We have noise, let me turn everything off again, background noise, and then a pop or a click. And when I was selecting things like that, this becomes an outlier in the data, and the noise capture software or effect is taking it into consideration whenever it's looking at the voice and that's why it's removing too much of the voice. So what we should do instead is we should skip that, right click, capture noise print. So now everything we have selected is just this background noise and we're skipping over that tick sound. Welcome to another episode of- And so now when we turn this back on, Noise is reduced. Welcome to another episode of- And the voice still sounds great. And we're removing much less than we did before. And of course you can go in and you can play with these settings to see what works best for you, depending on you know the sound you're working with. Um, that's what I always do. I always play with this stuff before I apply the effect. But yeah, I hope that helps if you were in a situation where you couldn't figure out why noise reduction was making everything sound worse, uh, because this is something that I just figured out today. So I hope that helps.